Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Lisa. Uh, I go by Scrappy Look Lisa on YouTube. Thanks for joining me again. If you've come, if you've come back, otherwise welcome. If you're a first time viewer, I'm just going to do a flip through of pages that I've recently done, and where I can, I'll tell you what collections I've used. But generally, I just um, I have a big collection, a big stash, and as much as possible, I try and stash bust. So just trying to use stuff up. So this page, I've had to cut block a couple of things that have got some personal details on them otherwise this just talks about um, border crossings this is September the uh, 21st to the 27th but back in week 39 and I've just used some pink fresh studio everyday musings and cocoa vanilla free spirit embellishments on this and the papers are from um, Kristen Cronin Barrow better days collection from sweet shop designs so it's just I've used the design B for that one just because I wanted to chop down photos and just have a different variety. I like using different page protectors as much as possible, just for variety. This one I've just popped in a little flip, um, a little insert, and underneath here it's just a photo of the people. So I had this stamp, so I stamped this all out, and under here I've got a photo that correlates with where we are on that picture. And it's just school friends. Uh, another Zoom chat with the journaling on the back. Over here, we've got just other bits, uh, other bits and pieces from that same week of 39, and just my dad's birthday, going out to the grave, that type of thing. Just little bits and pieces, and just for something different, thought I'd use a different page protector, and I like to use the little two by two boxes. This one I've used the River Rose designs. Sweet Shop Designs uh, We Are Thankful collection. So I've just basically used the cards. I haven't done much else apart from just photos, cards, simple. A couple of little letter stickers and that's it. Over here. I've used pull this little tag off. Ponytails Crafting Memories and Amy Tangerine Sticker Book just to decorate this one same thing so it's just some cards um, so these are also sweet shop design ones these are just the letters I've just tried to tie in using the similar ones from the Amy Tangerine book and it's just telling a couple of little stories from that week next page this looks like Vicky Boot and paper I think um, and the embellishments maybe as well I'm not 100% sure I didn't document this one so this is week 41 just showing different different um, stories so you know a few stories got told for that week which was good including you know is that back to school I think back at on-site learning things like that so big exciting changes and then over here we've got Oh, this is from a paper pad. I can't remember. It's a little six by six paper pad that I've literally just cut up. I've used a couple of cards and I've just made my own. Because the pictures were quite dark, I've just tried to kind of use the same kind of tones for that one. So nothing special, but more stories told. Over here, this was talking about the fact that I've bought this sewing machine for myself two years ago and I've been petrified of the thing because I've never known how to how to sew in my life. This is obviously back in winter because I'm all rugged up. So I've just used some Kayser Craft Craftanoon paper pad, I think. That's all I did. I used a paper pad and in that paper pad, it's a little six by six paper pad. I've just used different um, embellishments that they had in there or papers, cut them down, finish off the page. Over here, I can't share the page that's under there, under there I'm sorry, because of the content of the uh, photo. So. We'll skip that one. This one I've used paper pads, six by six paper pads. So as much as possible, I'm trying to, I've got a big collection of paper pads. I'm trying to use them up. So this is using a Vicky Booten sticker. I think that's out of a little Kayser Craft six by six paper pad. So as you can see, I've just used things from all different places just to try and use up my collection. So looking at the photos I've got for each and matching the paper as best I can to, to them, but also making it, so that they work together and on the other side so I'm really enjoying using this design E um, they're just like little, little mini scrapbook pages I find 12 by 12 too much these days and so this way I'm getting lots of little stories in this one is using the honeybee stamps paper pad and 
the labels from Pink Fresh Studios Everyday Musings, which is these, and then I've used Ephemera from Vicky Booten Art for Everyone. So I'm happy with that. So what I've done for this week, this is week 43, I've decided decided to do for the five members of the family a design e front for each person of the family. So obviously it's going to be five five spreads because there's five of us in the family and it's basically looking at this week from that person's perspective so this one is about my husband and then I'm next and I've used the craft storm ephemera which is a recollections blossoms and bliss and so I've just oh yeah so I've used ephemera from one pack and then just paper pad uh six by six paper pad which I'm happy with that. So what I did with all of these pretty much is found a paper pad and kind of worked that paper pad and worked the photos around. This one I've used Simple Stories. So rad, six by six paper pad for my son. So my oldest son. So his stories for the week. And then over here, this is for the second son. I've used the DCWV Cotton Fields collection for that one. It gets his stories told and then my youngest son here so I've used the pink paisley moonstruck paper pad for his so generally where I can like I've cut out parts of that paper pad and use them just to try and tie it all in over here just I wanted to kind of snapshot you know this is where we live memes that I've seen on Facebook that are, I think are funny you know while no one's traveling that type of thing and then over the page, week 44, I've used one canoe two Saturday afternoon paper pad for this one. This is going back to just the normal, everyday, everyone all together on the page type of spread. And then over here, we've got just more little stories. And I've just put little captions on these ones, just written, handwritten on the those with little captions. And it's more that I just found a card that I liked from my collection. And then just try to tie in and find others that kind of complemented that. So that's how I did that one. This one. So this is a design C, but you can see I've put like a lot of twos. This is three pictures in a row. That's two pictures, but just on a four by six card. So for this one, I've used River Rose Designs Moment in Time papers. So that's these papers here. And then I've used, so I've got this. Porter craft which I think I got from just like a budget shop in um, my local town and it's just I had these in I've these had these in my stash for years absolute years and I don't really have many Halloween embellishments because we don't really do anything but this year we went to this um, this old historic home we watched Adam's family under the stars and so I pretty much used that collection just to get it done and so I could throw it away throw away the packaging this one here just talks of a little story between my son and I and putting a little bet on and the first, it's the fact that it's his first time at 19 years of age but it's also my first time at my age so uh, and then over the so other side it's about you know walking with my friend lunch with mum that type of thing um, over here I've got a little flip out let's see if that fits so I might just so all I've done there I'll just open this up might be easier so that is like that originally and this one just uses Vicky Booten stickers just to finish it off so that's just talking about the boys returning back to tennis but over here I wanted to use up photos so between my husband and I we're taking quite a few photos of the garden uh, being springtime so I thought well let's throw some in and I used a little bit of uh, so these letters are from the Amy Tangerine collection uh, one of her paper books I think and just miscellaneous cards there that's the Vicky Booten ones and then over the page and I haven't really done much here I've just used some pink fresh studio uh, what are they super cool ephemera and miscellaneous cards on this one just it's more about you know filters and just everyday life and you know a little bit of Groundhog Day type thing over here I haven't really done much apart from cut a card down use a couple of other cat random cards for my collection 
and some puffy foam stickers for the week number over here I haven't even documented what I used for this one but just little small stories but important stories that I'd like to capture over here uh, just this is a really old oh, I can't think what they're called now paper flare I think um, present and over here just a bit of a story about what happened on it for his birthday and then here discussing the fact that my son and my niece birthdays are two days apart and they came they were allowed to get out of Melbourne to come and travel and so we went out for lunch or for tea as a family over here it's another one so this one I just want something different I originally had all the photos but I was a little bit sick of it just being all photos so I just popped a little flip over there I haven't put any journaling or anything on that yet I may or may not come back to that I'm not really sure whether I put a heading on um, but it just shows all the different photos that we took and just for something different just kept the, the big piece of paper as complete as possible and this one is oh, just saying goodbye as the family were leaving and my niece um, who can sometimes be fussy going to people for a hug when it's time to say goodbye and how she was accepting and I've just used stamps from my collection that I'd pre-stamped there this one uh, this is just about using Snapchat filters. My my sons will sit around and take photos with Snapchat filters. And so just for something different, I thought I'd throw some of those in. Really just... Hi guys, sorry. My video seemed to go over the period that it would allow me. And so I cut off and so I have to pick back where I, where I left off. So this was using... This is week 47. I've used a Cocoa Vanilla Studio. I think it was the Midnight Collection. So I've just used some papers out of the 6x8 paper pad and just some die cuts out of the pack just to tie in a whole bunch of little stories i've done a mixture of journaling with typewriter and also just on little labels with my handwriting over the page so this one here i literally used four pieces of paper so one two three and four pieces of paper and a stamp set and I've done the three boys and basically what their week has looked like. So the oldest one, uni, work, sleep, repeat, etc. So covers their week. This one I've actually, I did, I used a whole mixture of different cards, embellishments. This was an acetate sheet, die cuts, you know, just a bit of everything for a bit of every, like odds and ends stories. But I forgot that it was actually the start of a week too so at some stage I'm gonna to have to go back and put in week the week number or whether I put like some kind of insert or a bookmark or something in just to represent that this is week 48 it is actually quite a few pages week 48 so it must be when life started getting back to normal it's also when I went down to Melbourne caught up with a lot of people so I had a lot of stories to tell that week over here this is just little bits and pieces small stories uh, of the the borders opening up that type of thing what was happening in australia at the time so a little bit of that in saying that i will point out that i've got all these printouts which came from sally wilson and i think her website is wilsonwilson.org and she has a whole bunch of downloadable printables uh, I think if you go in the Project Life Australia Facebook group it's got links to her, her to her page where you can get those and it basically gives a summary of what's going on in Australia from a COVID point of view so I'm putting that in at the end kind of like as an overall summary what I've done in my album is what how it's affected us this is an overall summary of the story of COVID and how it's affected Australia so this is just a 9 by 12 I've used Sweet Shop Designs Let's be adventurous flares on this and I've just resized them. So I've printed them out in different sizes and then punched them out and used that to embellish just talking about our work week. Over this side. So here I've used a bit of Vicky Booten cards, some uh, stickers from Vicky Booten. I think this is Felicity Jane letter stickers. So little bits and pieces of stuff just about my friend and I and our week and catching up and a little flip up. And just you know journaling and a bit of a bit of a laugh hot hidden away under there over here this is my trip to Melbourne to uh, using Coco Vanilla Studios more than words collection 
and just talking about you know what was going on using little labels just for the for the journaling and over here this page I called reconnect using very old I'm not sure where they are I actually bought them uh, on a recycle site I think the the letter stickers and I love them so just for something different and I've just shown like the groups that we connected with and I said to them I was just doing it for COVID tracing but it's I've all of course you know anyone who knows that I'm a scrapbooker knows that I'm going to be documenting the photos so it was good to have that here is where I'm up to photos are printed they're in the right design page pockets um it's just a matter of getting motivated to come and actually do the pages so that's where I'm at need to get motivated to get moving and get some pages done please uh like comment subscribe uh let me know what what design style you like do you like the c's the e's the letter g which is like this what's your favorite protector and i will see you in the next video bye hey guys don't go yet just letting you know that i'm participating in a pocket page roundup 2021 youtube hop which is just displaying pocket page scrapbookers the first videos will be released on the 15th of january so check back on my channel then there'll be links to all the others participating and we'd love your support thank you bye